My friends, my extended family, welcome to another important video on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you want to learn more about the number one health anxiety recovery program available online today, you can learn more by clicking right here. And friends, today's topic is on health anxiety because there's been a lot of conversation around components of health anxiety recently on my social media accounts. And I can see that people are confused. I can see that people are frustrated. I can see that people are going through a bit of a seesaw battle between their higher selves and the health anxiety. So what I want to do today is I want to make a couple of really important points very clear to you in this video because I've come up with five important pillars that you have to begin understanding and applying into your life in order to make health anxiety a thing of the past, my friends. And isn't that why we're here, right? We want to start enjoying our lives the way we know we can and put any form of anxiety behind us, but make sure that we take the lessons with all that progress with us. Number one pillar is this. Neither an idea nor a feeling about a sensation in the body should be considered true, therefore acted in line with. This is called the separation from fear, okay? So you're going about your day, okay, and you have an idea or you have an initial feeling about something, okay, and usually it spurs on some health anxiety. But this time, you understand that you can create some separation between consciously becoming aware of that thing that used to spur on health anxiety and a certain reaction or response to it. Pillar number one is creating separation from fear, okay? Because I want you to understand that health anxiety is nothing more than a bundle of patterns and habits that have become unconscious over time that you are now starting to be, uh, become conscious about, okay? This may be actually one of the other points, but anyway, let's get to this early on in the video. And so, if you can, when you can, stop the cycle that is health anxiety early on within the cycle, then you are breaking your state out of fear, okay? And when you're breaking your state out of fear, something else will take its place naturally. So it's very, very important to understand that you can create separation from fear by understanding that a feeling in the body or an idea about a sensation or something in the external world is not necessarily true, okay? And just this simple idea was so, so powerful for me because it gave me some space, right, between recognizing those things and acting in line with them. And this is what health anxiety is, isn't it? We fall for the feeling, we fall for the idea, we fall for the story that we've just read on Facebook about someone else in regards to our friend or family member, and all of a sudden it takes us down a spiral of health anxiety, either right away or later on, and we take on other people's energies. We take on other people's stories. It becomes ours. But my friends, we don't have to do this anymore. We don't have to play this game anymore, okay? And this game is all related to this association between worry being our safety net, okay? Worry doesn't have to be your safety net anymore. You can interpret worry in a different manner, number one. And number two, you can create some separation from fear just by recognizing that you don't have to fall for a feeling or a thought anymore, okay? Number two, and I've got my notes here just to make sure that I have everything I need to send the right uh, messages today. Number two, 
A top priority for a health anxiety sufferer must be to learn how to look empowered and breathe in a way that exudes safety at all times. Okay, this is important. Health anxiety healing has a lot to do with building momentum because anxiety also has a lot to do with building momentum, but in a negative sense. Okay, we want to build momentum, but we don't want to do it through the thinking processes. Okay, there's already enough, you know, mental activity going on. And most people suffering from health anxiety always rely on things neck and above to solve their problems. They never consider the option of using their body to solve their problems and their challenges. So, our goal is to not succumb to the health anxiety look and breathing pattern. <sighs> Hold on to this one. Okay, let's say it again. Don't allow yourself to succumb to the health anxiety look and <sighs> breathing pattern. Now we're talking physiological change here, my friends, okay? So instead, I want you to create momentum throughout the day in terms of how you use your body. Don't wait for that moment when anxiety hits to do something. Create momentum throughout the entire day with your body, and therefore when a challenge arises that is related to health anxiety, you'll be able to handle it so, so easily, my friends friends. So I ask you, if you could take on the posture of somebody that already healed their health anxiety, what would you look like? Do it right now. What would you look like in terms of posture if you already had healed your health anxiety? Do that right now. And as you do that, combine it with the breathing pattern. What sort of breathing pattern would you assume and practice regularly if in fact you've already healed your health anxiety? <sighs> do it right now and try to feel bad. Notice what happens instead. So number two, pillar related to health anxiety has so much to do with your physiology. I can't stress this enough, okay? Please, use your body and it's a lot easier to change the mind through the body than it is to change the body through the mind. And that's the mistake that so many of us are making. Pillar number three, my friends, let's keep going here. Never allow yourself to succumb to health anxiety out of fear of confronting something. The fear of taking on some sort of big leap in your life. The fear of getting to know the unknown differently. The fear of acting on your creativity the fear of meeting new people, the fear of asking for a raise, the fear of being imperfect, the fear of being accepted by others, the list goes on and on and on. Sometimes, actually more often than not, health anxiety is more so the protective armor that we wear in order for us not to take that leap into something that is uncertain. Okay, this is so important and it really demands some brutally honest questions of yourself because often we think things are physical. Oh, I have this physical itch or I have this physical sensation or symptom or illness or whatever it is. When in fact, at its roots, there are defense mechanisms playing out by your subconscious mind that don't want you to do something, okay? The subconscious mind doesn't want you to enact something or engage in something because it believes that you may make some kind of a mistake that will lead to some feeling of overwhelm. So that health anxiety often becomes the armor that protects us from moving into those new spaces. Take this on right now, my friends. This is very, very important. And I've seen people simply by understanding 
Pillar number three in asking themselves some deeper questions, move past health anxiety. So is it a cover-up for you? Is it body armor for you? Ask yourself. Pillar number four. Health anxiety is unconsciously strengthened due to our imagination. Therefore, we can use this imagination consciously to heal it. If the imagination played such a massive role in the construction of the health anxiety identity that we feel like we have to live out each and every day for safety purposes, then we can use that imagination consciously to move ourselves in different directions, okay? Instead of imagining the worst, start to imagine the best. Instead of imagining the worst case scenario happening, imagine the best case scenario happening. Instead of imagining a day full of sensations and symptoms of health anxiety, imagine a day where you still feel those things, but it's kind of like a fly moving around your face and you grab your fly swatter and you go, right? You can imagine these things, my friends. In fact, people always ask me, Dennis, what's the most important tool that helped you in your anxiety disorder healing journey? And I would say it would be my imagination. Often we're not presented with ways of using the imagination for better purposes to improve our lives, especially in the Western world. In the East, we, we tend to understand how the imagination works and how we manifest things due to it, but not so much in the West. But I, I realized, my God, like the end result of everything is a feeling, right? I have a feeling I either want more of or a feeling I'm trying to kind of put aside and not feel anymore. So just before the feeling, what starts to happen? I start to imagine things, whether I'm aware of it or not, right? You know, you got the thoughts, yes, you got the thoughts, you, and, and you've got the beliefs, you've got the ideas, you've got the behaviors, but through all these different components come pictures pictures and movies that you run in your head unconsciously that bring into your reality what it is you are imagining. So if you continue to unconsciously imagine the worst in all aspects of your life, especially health anxiety, what do you think you're gonna get? It doesn't matter how much hope you have. It doesn't matter how much faith you have. It doesn't matter how many times you pray each and every day. If you're imagining the worst unconsciously all the time, you will get what you imagine, my friends. So we can start to consciously imagine the best case scenario through these practices, okay? Reframing practices and we can start to take back control of the things we have control of on the inside, my friends. We can do this, okay? Number five, here we go. Replace fear with faith. Faith that you can begin to believe in a body that heals itself without the need for excessive mental activity. As you go through the day, are you always relying on your mind to, to solve every single internal or external problem for you? There's so much stagnant energy here that turns into depersonalization, dizziness, uh, loss of short-term memory, lack of concentration issues, lack of focus. It's all stagnant here. The energy is not moving, my friends. Okay, so we have to stop relying on the mental faculty to heal everything, and we have to start bringing in faith. Faith that we can leave things alone. We can leave the body alone with a sensation and a symptom of anxiety, and with that faith, we can have faith in the body, allowing those sensations and symptoms to subside when it may. Okay, yes, this, this, this form of inaction in anxiety healing is going to speak to a lot of people, but there's also a lot of people out there that have to enact certain skill sets, 
skill sets in terms of responding before they get to that place of inaction and leaving things alone. But for this particular pillar, it's important to understand the end result, okay? The end result, healing of health anxiety is the inaction around something that used to cause us a lot of fear, okay? So understand that, my friends. We can replace the fear with faith. We can do this and we can move into health anxiety healing. Heck, I'm feeling amazing today, so I'm gonna give you guys a bonus, okay? How about that? Let me, let me just break my state here a little bit, okay? Bonus, number six pillar for health anxiety. It's the action that spurs on targeted understanding around your health anxiety. Understand that. Don't look for books and, and uh, podcasts and YouTube videos and audio books and, and workshops and seminars. Don't look for these things constantly in order to understand your anxiety and health anxiety better. You already know enough. You know what to do. You're just afraid to do it because you're not sure if the result will be in line with your desires. So because this is the case, we have to understand right here, right now, that it's time for you to start taking action, okay? Stop looking for uh, certain information out there that will speak to you, the holy grail, that will take the health anxiety away. One supplement, one herb, one technique, one piece of information, one mentor, one teacher, one therapist. No, the healing has to come from the inside out not from the outside in, okay? And this is the time. Health anxiety is a result of a bundle of internal unconscious patterns that you are revealing now in order to heal now. And because this is the case, I commend you. I commend you for taking this leap. I commend you for allowing me to be a part of your health anxiety healing, my friends. If you get a chance, please share this video with somebody or a group that's suffering from health anxiety. It would mean so much to me. And remember that you are more than anxiety. Don't ever forget it. I'll see you in the next video. I love you all.